Chairman, council members, Armed Forces Provisional Ruling Council, Halayangi Japante, Anandor Akbaram Reumi, Chairman Yahya Jamme, Alun Salle, Boleko Abbai Chairman, Nelson The United Movement is not a problem. Being a member of the United Movement is not a problem. Knowing the principles and the ideas of the United Nations Movement is not a problem. Believing in the principles of transparency, accountability, quality and good governance is not a problem. So what is the problem? Is there anybody among the crowd? Who knows what is real problem? To be a position of fight, nepotism, corruption and tribalism in this country. Because it is the duty of all patriotic Gambians to fight corruption. But the first brand of democracy should never be tolerated in this country. There is a group of kings with good-wing Gambians and patriotic themselves in power for 30 years only to find out that they have brought this country. If it is a democracy of rat or rodent, losing everything and then starting it in foreign banks, why the Western world blindly pumps in money, then who are the collaborators? As far as I'm concerned, nothing will change, nothing has changed. There are so many people that have been sentenced to death. Nobody has ever been executed. The best they can go to hell. I'm going to wipe you out of this country. Be lie you will lie to lie. If the sentences are not carried out, I will drink alcohol and eat pork. Be lie you will lie to lie. Well, thank you for joining us. The government of the Republic of the Gambia hereby informs the general public that contrary to the widespread rumors and speculations on the pronouncement made by His Excellency the President of the Republic on the implementation of the death penalty in the Gambia, it wishes to state for the records that such irresponsible spreading of information is wrong. Well, good evening from Banjo. The Ministry of the Interior confirms the execution by firing squad of nine people who were convicted and sentenced to death. Does it concern you slightly that there could be an attitude within the public that the president has a cure for AIDS, we don't have to worry about it, and that could affect their behavior, their sexual behavior, and possibly cause a spread? No, I don't think so, because I don't think uh, any, the mere fact that uh, the hospital can fix fractures does not mean that anybody will stand I mean, or try to cross uh, a busy highway, knowing that if you are cross without dying, you can.
Iranian citizen Azim Agajani was sentenced to five years in prison following his arrest in October 2010 after the discovery of a ship carrying containers of rocket launchers and grenades. The material was registered as construction loading material. Agajani is accused of trying to illegally import weapons to Nigeria with the intention of shipping them on to Gambia. For <laughs> The rumor will be bad in another prep in the Gambi, when we were Gambi the passage, come on, I did that. Yeah, I jam, I mean, you're bad in life. I connect on quick in the Facebook. Ah, she, yeah, yeah, Junkum jam, Brom Canila, Brom Banjo, by Mohammed, by Mariam, fine on you, you're bad in life. I did that, I did that, I did that, mashallah, shapala. I don't have an opposition. You don't have an opposition? What we have are people who hate this country. And I, will, and I will not work with them. Well, I mean, at least, at least it's intended to intimidate. It's intended to intimidate, you know, the voters around that area. And I'm sure in areas in Fony and other places, this is what is going to happen there. The United Democratic Party, Gambia Moral Congress Alliance, vehemently and unconditionally reject the results of the presidential elections as announced by the Independent Electoral Commission. We consider the results given out as bogus, fraudulent, and uh, does not reflect the realities of what is on the ground. The current state of human rights in the game is deplorable. I mean, Gambia has not a decent uh, human rights record. If I want to catalog them for you, I'll be here till tomorrow. And particularly my party, my party, the opposition party, have suffered blatant um, uh, violation of human rights in the hands of the authorities that be. I mean, it's a practice by the Gambian authorities. You can be, you can be kept for as long as the president wants you to be kept. <laughs> That's all. And then they will release you whenever he says release him. But uh, the police don't have a right to release anybody whom they feel is a threat. The government has no respect for human rights. The rock government continues to violate the human rights like the way you violate, some of us violate the Ten Commandments. You understand? It's a habit. It's not only a habit, it's a practice. Tested on the 26th of March 2006 in connection of an allegation of coup plot. There was a coup organized by the soldiers, so I was accused of being involved in that coup. That led to my arrest. I was brought at the prison and not told why I was taken to prison. I was not told why I am arrested. And I was just taken to the prison and thrown at the maximum security wing. The cell is so dark, it's an empty floor, no mosquito net, nothing. And I was there with naked for three days at the cell. Yeah. When you go to the main yard, for those prisoners who are convicted, there is no one-man cell. They are just parked at the floor. They will all sleep on one floor. And each floor will have 250 prisoners, convicted prisoners. It's over-congested. This is why every year there will be an outbreak of disease. Because they walk on each other when they are going to the toilet, when, or when they are going to the... And also the toilet is within that place. There is an empty barrel that they put there. When you are going to the toilet, everybody will be seeing you are sitting there going to the toilet. In that room, there is no separate toilet or nothing. You do everything while you go to bed. That is how the condition of the prison is. When you are sick, you have to call the attention of the prison officers. When they come, you explain to them what is paining you. And they are also going to hospital is by law. When you have money, you go to the hospital. If you don't have money, you will die at yourself because what you need to do is to fuel the prison vehicle to take you to hospital. You need to fuel it. You, the prisoner, the patient, need to fuel it. Yeah. Some of the prisoners, they will use acid on them. They will save you until your hair is clear. Then they, pour, they, they, will, they, will, they will put a fire on a plastic bag, then start dropping it on your head, at the right bottom of your head. There, they will drop it there. Some of them, they will tie your hands and your legs. They will make a boil. They will boil a, a, a metal until it is red hot. Then they, broke, they bring it next to your nose. 
and they will not remove it. It will be so hot on you. You must confess. Sometimes they will open your anus, your private part, and put acid inside. All those are form of torturing that they were doing. If they want to clear with you, there is a poison they are using at the prison to kill some prisoners in the prison. This barrack battery we call barrack batteries. The powder inside, that black powder that they will use and put in your food when they are distributing the prison food. There, when they put it on your plates, you eat it. The next day you complain of stomach ache. The following day or night you will die. So they will rush you to the hospital and say you die because of severe malaria. This is how they are, how they are killing prisoners secretly there. Gambia is a small state, but within there, there is a very dangerous things going on there. And the people soon start up, rise up for this human rights abuses in the Gambia. Lawyers are affected, journalists are affected, opposition pol uh, parties, politicians are affected. Everybody today is the Gambia is affected. Any compound that you go to, they will tell you, my father is dead, is killed, or is gone on exile, or is in prison. So there is nobody today in the Gambia who is not affected. Therefore, this is not a problem of Gambian alone. It should be an international concern. And Gambians are crying both internal and outside of organizations to come to their aid. This country is a hell for journalists. It is. Do you feel sorry, for example, for the family of a little journalist, um, Deida Haidara, for example? To me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Is, the, is he the only one who died in this country? Well, he died, he was a journalist, and the circumstances leading so to his death are still not yet known. Do you feel sorry for him? Is he a better Gambian than the Gambian farmer who dies also? Is he better than Gambian? Gambians who die in accidents, Gambians who die at sea, Gambians who die on their way back way to Europe. Well, Gambians who die by road or by sea, for example, I mean, much as that may be unfortunate, but it couldn't be as, as serious as somebody was killed, like Dida Hadera was. Well, other people also have been killed in this country. So why is Dida Hadera so special? When you are arrested, you should be informed of what you are done within 73 hours. But I went beyond 73 hours. You know, and I was tortured before I was even informed. I have been beaten, I have been, you know, assaulted. You know, there's, there's no torture that I didn't go through really. To me, in the Gambia, we don't have freedom of expression. And this even led many people to leave the job. Some people, they have the interest, but they have the fear of intimidation, harassment, torture. So I think, like, being a journalist, you must have to have in mind that, bear in mind that either today or tomorrow, I must be arrested. We never think that we were going to be arrested because what, what we did was constitutional. So it was not something like you can say it is illegal. So we don't have any fear to go to the NI uh, headquarters. And I, I had the opportunity because even in the Constitution, it is stated that I can be, my, my sentence can be, uh, I can, I, they can wait for me, like to suspend the sentence, till when after I stop breastfeeding my baby, then I can go and serve the sentence. But the judge doesn't agree with my lawyer. They just have to take me to jail with the baby. But going to jail is nothing to me. The only thing I feel about it is about my baby being taken to jail. Yeah. When they brought the food to me, for me to eat, I can't eat because. When eating the food, you just see some flies inside the food. You have to take the flies out to eat the, uh, the food. So if you are not used to it, you cannot take that food. And we all know that as a breastfeeding mother, if you don't get something to eat, you can't have anything in your breast. So it was so terrible for I and my baby.
I really miss him. I really miss him. Because whenever I go to bed, I don't sleep. Actually, we the Gambians, we are very unlucky because our president doesn't have any sympathy for human for human human rights. He doesn't care about humanity. Yeah. So this even makes that in the Gambia we don't have freedom of expression. Like right? even whereas you want to express your feelings or you want to write anything doing with human human rights, you always have this fear in your mind that I may I may be arrested. Because sometimes when they arrest some people, you never see them. We have many cases like that. If it happens to others like who are not journalists, it's very, it's very difficult for them to get out from that uh, mess. Like in mind, if you go there, you will find a lot of people there who have spent there more than 10 years. And they have not even been taken to court. They've just been packed and remained like that. So we are so unlucky. We don't have freedom of expression. And we will really like for the intervention of this international organizations, although they are doing very well, but we really need their efforts. Yeah. Uh, Every day we sit and want to, you know, give Jame a minute. More Gambians are dying. More Gambian women are being raped. Our resources are being pillaged by this guy. You know, uh, as we speak today, Babali has been in jail for what? Three, what day? Five months. Yeah, four months, three days today. And nobody knows whether he's dead or alive. And you know, the condition he is in, even if he is not tortured, can you imagine being sitting in one place for four months? Doing nothing but just going to the bathroom and coming back. Without being charged. Yes, without being charged with or any even kind. acknowledgement of his. So. Because we so 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 in the area of the town of Mala. Nico Hamne, Mandina Gambia, and Nigeria. So I Nico Hamne, every mile in the Gambia, I'm a police post. Nakala, I am in New York, Venezuela, New York, Bond. Bond on the radio station, Mofane, transmitted. Some fafa been a story, different danger I drug, but I am the president. King Ahamne Mom, he is the headmaster of every primary school in the Gambia. He is the principal of every high school. Yajame is the registrar of every college and every institution in the Gambia. Yajame is the chief matron of the hospital in the Gambia. Yajame is the chief gardener, the chief farmer, the chief cattleman in the Gambia. Nakala Niki Dinebe Gambia, what a death of story, different danger I drug, Yajame Yugo. Yajame Banditla. He is an international bandit, and all that Yajame deserves is an international tribunal. Kure Yajame Renga Jum, Yajame Kerwar Kore, Renko Waratie, Han Kofko, Yokon Doh Munan, Yokon Leta, that treat you like a dignified human being. Mom, justice be denied in you, you just justice boom. Yajame Lula deserves. There will be Barina, there will be two Gambia Barina. New Barila Yajame. Yo, Nyingaham, Amnimaham, Amnino Lim, Amna Yenen Yoham, the Kemus Revision. I'm not being a Nigerian to do Mohammed. We should not report to Nigeria. We are not going to make a complaint. Go to the post office. Go to the police station. Then we should report. Soldier, big gun, no, 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 no Yang lain juga lemusal seta demi aja. Wah, jawab ram, Egypt siang lah. Jawab jam yang mula nak dapat ni, kalau ada patah, harus pergi ke Liga Bel. Dengan air hasil, dengan air defli. Soalan bukan lagi air hasil. Tanya aja, mesti kan bukan hasil lah itu. Thank you. Kutak kejar bura fed gambar aja, mesti nak kena gusar. Wow.
amna ben way bo xamne ndey sa mu ngi tok angalter am lay asylum parce que ya jamme nanguna jabaram ci loxo jarba tam bi non nama mu nama dama la mere parce que suma nijay liñ ko def yang ko baña bina mané ko bañu mako bina way sa yumpañ lay sutural ak sa nijay waaw ne gambia dekk la bo xamne dafa tuti gambia ku fa saxat senegal dañu am a fresh cool dañu soj so ñaari dekk yoyu fo na pour ar sen security lu important ya jamme nit la ko xamne so fatale ko ñaari at ci ganaaw mus na genné bill of lading ne ya jamme dafa jël ay wepol from iran diko indi gambia fo na lool tamit def ko wéddi won waye buñ démé un afta fo na gis nga li xew digandé ma gira iranian ci so baxna say say bu melno ñuko expose pepa ci amna njëriñ xëñ nañu njëriñ pepa ci ñuy xamuñ ko waaw mun nga tok sa ndé nga xela dara nga bind ko waye ay téméri téméri ni ñuy say njëriñ ñoo waaw so légui waaw ñu gëna emphasize sa comme une back to the story kër gi ya jamm jënd is 3 million US dollars moy 100 million dollars 100 million dollars kër lool la ya jamm jënd fek ak gambia mu ngi am nekk dëkk bo xamné yoon yi réglé wuñ l'hôpital yi baxuñ amul ben doomi gambia bu bëgg ñu tëddal sa sa yaay o sa papa o sa doom l'hôpital yi bañu sudé ni am nga pé xalé bu jéxal tay gambia mu ngi jéxal high school bu gëna duga america o england o o bété fenen mu dem jang Gambian si pri fa nañ pour ñu dem angola janga fofu sa dan janga seen on rew so sete barki demba amna kansula bi ki ne joxe visa gambia mu ngi visite university of gambia bu muy waxtaan ak xale yi student si fa janga elef yi gaay gaay di ko laj lan mo tax nit ñi dañu am qualification ñu dem ci embassy bi do len day jox visa mu ne waaw gambia fu mu nek ni is the third country in the whole of sub saharan africa in terms of student population in gambia yi nek america ñaari rew rek ño ci jitu gambi deka bo xamne is 1.6 million people sudé né ñom ño nek number 3 in terms of student population in the united states nga xamne deka bobu toskare na deka bobu mu ngi melni everybody is on the move ko call gambia tay pa lim amal interest mo nek domam naka la mu na genn ci musiba bobu mu ñew america o mu dem bitim rew xalé ya ngay dugg ci gali yaay sen kër papa yi ak sen nagi ñu dem di coupe ci geej gi ñuy dé fofu jox pour genn mu na genn ci ya onda ya jamis dikkato ci man sere ku dala judo ñomi la yaro sa mana nak beyna buma dem primary school dama bay legui le school sama dem bey time bobu dama man nak sax ratana ko pas sa mana ratana amul luma def ci adina man ma indi suma bop amerik plus ya jamme bugo nama rey ma daw waye nak tay ñu bari ñu ngay ñew fi nekku ne dañ ñew pour jang o pour ut ci sa dañ buga genn ci toskare bi nek gambe parce que rew bi soxna rew bi yaxu na su rew toge ba ñoy jël ay imam ño xamne deug lañu wara wax ci deug ñoy jël imam yoyu non di di len nuba di len tocco ken ñemew ta ubi gemi ñam gambia wax loya bu melni ousmane sila taxawna pour 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 defend baba job mi nga xamne baba job was the second most important person in yaa jamess government ñu jël ko ku ñu paré ko rey Ha day da haydara mu nek bindakat ko xamne yo jaar nga ci loxo man 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 ni jaar na ci loxo ya jamme jël koku yoni ay boy ñu jël ay bal dugal ci bopam bi rey ko pa lolu ban façon ngi dekk la ha wa ha ma ali kalaj la tu la ndax tek tek la tu la way degg degg la ñoo wax
we always want to sit aside and wait until a family member of, of, of ours has been touched before we say something. It was Dr. King who said that injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Jamie might not have touched me, not a simple family member of mine has been threatened or put in jail. When the bigger family of Pasambayau, which is the Gambian family, has been living under subjugation and total abrogation of their rights held. There is nothing sadder than to live in a country where you cannot mention the name of the person unless you are praising him. This is a guy who has no regard for the Gambian people. He treats us like slaves and animals. This is why he will throw biscuits at people and will be scrambling for him to eat. This is why he is the one, the only guy that people talk to. He has thrown us all into beggars. Thank you so very much. He is the businessman, he is the philanthropist, he is everything you have or think about. When we even want to play soccer, the national team, we will have to go and beg him to sponsor the national team. He is now going to the extent of even telling Gambians when to pray, when to fast. You think about it, this guy has done it. There is not a single crime that man can think of that Jambi has not committed against the Gambian people. Now it is the time. It is the time for us to stand up for what is right. What is right is fighting to regain the democracy and liberty that we all yearn for. Yep. Most of us here would have been in the government in a heartbeat. Some of the people that I see here are more than qualified to be working in the Gambia as doctors, as professionals, but today are staying in the United States. Rain, rain. Not because there is no rain, democracy rain. in that country. We have power. We have the resources. We have the capacity intellectually to develop that country. Every year, Gambians in the diaspora, this is not something I'm making up, it was in fact acknowledged by the Gambian government, contribute $800 million annually in the Gambian economy. $800 million every year, that's what we put in that country. So we have to transform that power all that resources into power and the power to change that country. I have said here earlier that the solution to our problem lies with every single one of us here. We have a proposal that is important. Maybe they don't want to take what it, do what it takes, or maybe they are tired after 18, 25 years in the struggle. But we must do what it takes to ensure that we take back our country from Yaya Jame. That is the foreign commonwealth office, that's where we are right now. And we'll be here for a while. Richard must act. Where are you? Jamie must go. Jamie must go. Jamie must go.